Hi, good evening to both. Well, on day six of the protest, the students continue to camp out at Cross Campus here on the lawn, chanting, listening to music, chatting, and even praying, all as a group of about 60 Yale professors are calling for action from the university's president, asking him to put an end to what they say are acts of anti-Semitism on campus. Anti-Semitism at Yale can no longer be tolerated. Students have reported to me, they've reported to my colleagues, my non-Jewish colleagues, that they're afraid to come to class. Two Yale faculty members joining dozens of other Jewish staff to say enough is enough as pro-Palestinian protests continue on and near campus. Free, free, free Palestine! Where moments like this prompted the faculty to take pen to paper, calling on the president of the university to take action. Where we're all here together as part of a community to teach and to learn from each other. And we can't do either of those things if one group is so abusive mm -hmm. of others. Evan Morris with the Yale School of Medicine says these problems have persisted for a while, but became worse at the start of the Israel-Hamas war. And when he learned a Jewish student was allegedly assaulted during Saturday's protests, the group asked the president to stop the demonstrations, call out acts of hate, and enforce school policies. If the safety of the community cannot be guaranteed, then demonstrations need to be put on hold. In a statement to the community on Monday, President Peter Solovey said, quote, we will not tolerate such behavior nor any open violation of Yale policies that interrupts academic and campus operations. Then police made dozens of arrests, but the professors say that doesn't go far enough. I consider it at my professional home and it really breaks my heart to see how embroiled in hatred and anti-Semitism the university has become. As for the protesters, they tell us their demonstrations are focused on peace. If members of the community are feeling unsafe, you know, I think that it genuinely is something that obviously needs to be addressed. But also I would like to point out that this is a wide coalition of folks. We have a lot of Jewish folks here. Jews for Ceasefire, JVP um, has all been part of the organizing effort. One moment of contrition of playing nice in the sandbox doesn't wipe out six or seven months of intimidation. Now, we did reach out to the university today for a new comment in light of this letter coming from the professors, but we did not hear anything from them today. Now, as far as the president's response to that letter, well, the group of professors are giving him one day, one extra day to respond. He was supposed to respond tonight, but because of Passover, the holiday, they're giving him some extra time. So that'll be tomorrow. We're live here in New Haven at Yale tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.